Our abolitionist during this time is John P. Parker. He was born in Norfolk, Virginia. He was sold to a slave agent from Richmond, Virginia at the age of eight. John was then purchased by a physician from Mobile, Alabama, and was then transferred to a New Orleans foundry where he alienated his co-workers and was released. John P. Parker was a conductor of the Underground Railroad in Ohio. He was the son of a white father and a slave mother. He was a black businessman, inventor, iron molder, and industrialist. Also, he was an owner of a small general store and a foundry. John served as a recruiter for this 27th Regiment, U.S. Colored Troops. John lived in a time of slavery and in fact was one of few slaves who could actually buy their freedom. During this time, slaves were prohibited from any kind of education. Owners believed that African Americans were unfit to be educated. When he was 18 years old, John purchased his freedom in New Orleans for $1,800. Our abolitionist John P. Parker promoted moral suasion by being a conductor in the Underground Railroad. He risked his life to help others gain their freedom. He would help them by getting them to the next conductor and sometimes he even go as far as traveling to the slaves and getting them to safety by walking in the woods at nightfall. Some allies that helped him fight against slavery were Dr. Alexander Campbell, Reverend John Rankin, Theodore, Tom, Ali Collins, Tom McGage, Dr. Beasley, and Reverend Gillian. The one that undoubtedly led them was Reverend John Rankin. The following are two quotes from a passage in John P. Parker's point of view. I volunteered to go to the rescue, as my mission was a dangerous one. I put a pair of pistols in my pocket and a knife in my belt ready for emergencies. That quote proved how brave he was to risk his freedom and life for freedom of others. During the day, Parker was the employer of 10 workers at his business, the Phoenix Foundry, and a father to a young family. At night, however, he guided runaways across the Ohio River. His most daring exploit was sneaking into a slaveholder's home to rescue a slave baby being held hostage to prevent the parents from running away. This quote shows that even after him being a former conductor, he still cares enough to do these things. Working closely with Rankin, Parker had for 15 years lived a double life. He'd founded Iron by day, and by night he'd smuggled hundreds of slaves out of Kentucky and sent them on their way to Canada. John Parker risked everything for freedom. Parker's significance has been obscured by the tendency of most standard works on the Underground Railroad to emphasize the role of white abolitionists and overlook African American involvement, and also because he often worked independently from white abolitionists and received less recognition in the abolitionist press. Even though he knew he would get less recognition, he still took honor in it. One event that our abolitionists dealt with was the Fugitive Slave Law in 1950, Freedom of Slaves. John fought for helpless slaves who traveled to the Ohio River for their freedom. John Parker also dealt with an event that led him to almost getting caught. He was guiding one of his parties when one of the men in his party left, and not too long after, Parker heard someone shout and reacted immediately, ordering the crowd to their feet. I impressed upon them that I was in greater danger than they were, and unless they listened to me, I would leave them just where they were and save myself. This quote from Parker is him expressing that he would do everything in his power to get these people to safety, but if they choose not to listen, he will leave them. It also is a great example of how Parker believed in a specific principle and stuck with it to save the human race. All of his work is voluntary, meaning he is doing it because he wants to, not because he has to.